Hi everybody, I'm Mike from TubeTape.com. On today's Quick Bits, I wanted to talk about something called Magic Lantern. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically a free third-party software that you can use with most Canon DSLRs to add some cool and useful features to your camera. So remember, this is technically a hack and not supported by Canon, so if it does somehow damage your camera, you're going to be out of luck. You won't have any warranty coverage for it. However, Magic Lantern has been running on thousands of cameras for a few years now, and there has never been a single report of it breaking a camera. Installing Magic Lantern is fairly easy, so I won't cover that today, but there are great instructions at magiclantern.fm. What I am going to show you are some of my favorite things Magic Lantern added to my Canon T2i. Uh, without Magic Lantern, under the exposure menu, you can only select presets, such as sunny, cloudy, fluorescent, etc. Uh, with Magic Lantern, though, I can now adjust the white balance by temperature. This gives you more control and precision over the white balance, and it's especially useful if you know the color temperature of your lights. You don't have to waste time tweaking the automatic settings or using the white card. Magic Lantern also gives you more ISO options and more shutter choices for finer control of the picture. Under the overlay menu, we have the option to add zebras, which show you what parts of the frame are too bright, a histogram to assist in properly exposing a shot, focus peaking, which gives you a graphical representation of what is in focus, and crop marks, which block off some of the screen so you can frame for something like CinemaScope. And all that just scratches the surface of what Magic Lantern adds to your camera. If you check out their website, they have detailed descriptions of what each setting does. So if you have a Canon camera, I would highly recommend giving Magic Lantern a try. It'll make shooting video and photos easier and open up new creative possibilities too. Just please be sure to read the installation instructions carefully and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.